Oh. Nah, enggak sulit biar mama gue cerita. Udah gue tadi pasti pemahas ya. Mexico, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Sanjong Longas, and today I am finally showing you how to make raw plant based mango chicken. Ah, oh my god, okay, okay, let me calm down a little bit because this recipe will like literally blow your mind, especially right now. Mango, pineapple, all these tropical fruits are seasonal in America, and they are all sale, all kinds of Asian market, regular supermarket wherever you go pineapple mango papaya they are on really good sale grab a box yes i said like a box and you want to make this mango cheesecake it's so delicious first what we need to do the step i always forget to do but i'm not gonna forget when i'm actually filming the recipe which is two cups of raw cashew we are going to soak in hot water while we are preparing other ingredients so typically you want to soak them like in the warm water for overnight but i never remember that and i always do this way and it always works so it's okay so the meanwhile the cashew is soaking we are going to make the crust this crust is actually, I have a measurement, but you don't have to actually accurately measure all the time. And this crust is so flexible that you can use any other ingredients you prefer. So the first one is a cup of, one cup of almond flour and one and quarter cup of walnut. I'm using walnut today, but you can use whatever nuts you wanna use and lots of dates. I usually use about like eight to 12, depending on the size of the dates and how like moist they are see this one is a little drier than others like it's not like a it's a little sticky but not like a, a sticky like maybe let me show you this one like this one like look at like can you tell the difference like this one is like really creamy and sticky but this one is already a little dried so if you are using something like this even though it's a larger size you're probably ending up using maybe 12 to 13 but if you are using something like this, super creamy and sticky like this, maybe 8 to 10 would be good. I think this is about 10 dates. And let's see where it goes with 10 dates. Generous pinch of salt. Salt always brings the sweet flavor, sweet flavor, sweet taste. Make it even more sweet. Like you heard that a lot from Food Network and that's true. Tablespoon of either maple shrub date syrup or agave nectar. I noticed agave nectar is sweeter than maple syrup or date syrup. So I like to using agave nectar because I like my sweet sweet and this is perfect. All right, now we are going to ground all them up until they become like a little cookie dough kind of consistency. You probably ask me, isn't, wouldn't that be easier doing it the food processor? Yes, it is. But the next step, which is the cream cheese, the creamy part is a lot easier to making in the blender. So if you're not dirty up your food processor and the blender, like doing it that way, you can definitely do that. My crust is perfect. And I'm, I'm going to put on my uh, cheesecake mold that I can kind of lift up like this. Um, you can use just baking dish if, and if you are using regular baking dish, you can actually just put some parchment paper underneath and square, round, doesn't matter, 8x8 eight eight, around that size will be perfect for this recipe. If you don't have a cheesecake mold, you can still make it. Just make sure you put a parchment paper down so you can lift it up really easy later when the cheesecake is done. I'm going to put this crust that we just create. We are going to use this blender to make the filling without rinsing it off, okay? Let's get it all out and kind of push it. You can so do like with your hand like me, or you can use like measuring cup or any flat bottom thing and push it down like this. It's up to you however you want to do. Looking good. And now we are going to put this crust into the freezer 
while we are making the filling. Right, for the filling, we will need two cups of coconut cream. Don't shake your coconut cream because we want to get the top part as much as possible. And if you want to, either coconut milk or coconut cream, the can, you can just keep it into the refrigerator for overnight. And again, keep doing something, preparing overnight. I'm not good at so I'm just kind of opening it up like this. But if you do that, you can clearly take only the creamy part. It will be really, really good for this cake. And we're gonna add the cashew, but make sure you drain them, add into the blender. About two teaspoons of vanilla. Generous pinch of salt again, about a quarter teaspoon. Half cup of agave nectar or maple syrup. So choice of your sweetener. And you can adjust that agave nectar or maple syrup to your taste actually. This is perfect for my taste, nice and sweet. But if you like a little more milder version, maybe one third cup could be enough for you. And I'm going to just two lemon into the blender. Lemon just is actually optional, but I really like this lemony flavor with mango. It's really perfect. And if you wanna use mango, uh, not mango, if you wanna use uh, lime, that will be great too. Add the lemon juice into the blender. I like to put just this little small strainer right there so I don't have to worry about picking out the lemon seeds or dropping lemon seeds and I cannot really find the lemon seeds where it is. Go ahead and squeeze all this lemon juice. I'm going to juice about three really juicy lemons. Actually, my lemons are really large and really big and super juicy. So I'm going to add only one, uh, two and a half lemons first and taste it and I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna add another half or not. Close it up and blend this until nice and smooth. Okay, it's actually perfect. Woo! So good, okay. Now I'm gonna bring my um, cheesecake mold with the crust. I'm gonna pour this cream cheese blend. Not really cream cheese in there, but you know what I mean. So this is good to go. We need to freeze this about two hours in the freezer before we pour our mango puree. I just pour the mango puree and now they can freeze at least like six hours to eight hours pretty much overnight so they will be nicely set and it will be ready to taste um yeah i'm so excited about this hey, hey. <laughs> I get to watch Vincenzo all day today. Yeah. It's a really good, good show to watch all day long, too, to be honest. It's like, Imo is like, I don't know how you do it. I'm like, I don't know how you can go without watching it. Without watching it. I'm like, you crazy. Good morning, everyone. I just woke up, and you can tell my face is a little more puffy. And Sungyeong, why you look like that? Where is, where is Sungyeong that I know? <laughs> but anyways, this is early morning and I wanted to show you guys the real cheesecake. I didn't make the prop because that's kind of like, you know, it's like a real cooking show kind of shit. And this is like a real YouTube cooking show, you know what I mean? <laughs> so anyways, I just brought out my cake. It's been in the refrigerator about two hours. And I'm super excited to cut them and show them. But before I do, um, I actually cut up some fresh mango to put on top. Top it up with extra mango is up to you. Why not? We all love mango. We cannot have enough mango in our life. You know what we call mangoes in Korea? In Korean, mango. So when I said mango, Jacob was like, what? Like mango. Like mango. 
Nimm dir da bloß der Pari. And on top of the mango, you don't have to, but I thought for Photoshop later that I'm gonna do, maybe little white coconut flakes or shredded coconut will look good. I'm gonna open it up. Mm. Dude. I'm <laughs> When you when you're getting old, you lose hair. <laughs> like I'm losing my eyelashes. This is so good. I know. Mm. Like, dude. This is a perfect breakfast. <laughs> we haven't had this allergy just yet, though. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Actually, the coconut flake. Mary. I mean, they didn't make it, and it's amazing without it, but it really Yeah, cross to the Ricky Machine. Mm-hmm. Good job. Mm. Mm. Hey, not way too much crust. <laughs> there's no such a thing. Yeah. It's a like crust like a cookie. It's a keto. Oh, oh no, there's way too much sugar. <laughs> not sugar, I thought it was... Uh, I love an nectar. Yeah, yeah but it's like too much sweetness. Oh. Even mango is too much... Uh, Natural sugar for a um, keto diet? Mm. Oh, wow. like, I'd rather eat this than not eating meat. <laughs> That's why I'm plant based. <clears throat> Guys, give us thumbs up and subscribe my channel to get more of this ridiculously delicious Asian, this is not really Asian other than mango, mango? but I mean mango, like mango, come, this mango from Mexico, dude. <laughs> 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 so it's not really Asian, but if you want to know and learn more, this ridiculously delicious Asian recipes and this delicious plant based recipes, subscribe and we'll see you next time. Mwah, delicious stuff. Bye!